Yeah, the viewers, huh? Seems happy, had a good groom. Happy cat. Do some cleaning up around here. I uh, need to see how I can mount the three phase motor on this fan blade. Hmm. If I had a lathe, I could actually turn that shaft in a tip of thread and that will screw into the end of the shaft for the other motor. Make some sort of coupling. Hmm. As I've done before, you can't run these motors on three phase because the way they're wired for a variable speed, so it will just smoke up. If I could find a, a, a small three-phase motor that has a shaft that size, it'd be good. Now I'm going to dig out the other little motor, we'll see what we can do. Be a challenge to try and get that blade to adapt to the shaft of that motor. Hmm, I wonder. I'm going to make some sort of adapter plate to go on here. From here to these outer bolts. Hmm, that's the main challenging part. It kind of sits straight though. The way these uh, things are bent, it sits almost perfectly inside the um, front flange, bell housing in this motor. I could put something in there, put some washers in between there and just botch it up. Equal amounts of washers between this um, fan and the, this face plate here. And they'll bolt it down square and that might also work. Actually it might, it might look very good but it might, yeah, it might squash it in shape though. Um, some sort of plate like this. Having it right where it is here, it's perfectly, that, that is perfectly centred. What I've done, I've drilled this out slightly, about a millimetre bigger than what it was. Put the grub screw in it, yeah, uh, and did this uh, cap screw nice and tight. Stainless steel though, it's actually quite a tight fit. And that screws down to the shaft to there, and that blade sits perfectly at centre as it was when it was in that fan. So it's actually working out quite well. It's just uh, this main bit here is getting this to sit straight. This would be a good fan now, running off a variable frequency drive and they get the benefit of forward and reverse too. Any speed I want, this will kick ass. Uh, I can make like a back at the bolts on here, it goes down and a bolt in the middle of that off stem to sit on that stand. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's a better motor. A much better motor than that crap. Okay. Worked that quite well with that. Solid as a rock. I ain't going anywhere. A lot stronger and more sturdier than I thought. Seems to be straight too. It's centered. Beautiful. And <laughs> let's give it a try. Hopefully it's the right way around. This job, I've got to program a verse back into it yet. But I can easily do it the other way by swapping live one and live two around to get it to go the right way. Let's see if how good it works. This is going to move some air. <laughs> it hurts. Wow, that's much better. That's moving some air. what you want. Oh, that's better. <laughs> much better, much better. Makes a bit more noise. Perhaps it moves faster than what it was. That bloody heap of crap moved. It's a faster motor. Even at 50 hertz, this one. Let's sit this down normally on the bench. That's how it normally would sit. Better. I slightly bent the damn thing out of balance by about three millimeters when I was um uh trying to drill the center hub out. Carefully, it's not designed to go quite fast to what it was made for that fan motor. It's a metal bay, it's pretty fast. I made one last check, I held the fan on the motor and just tightened this on the shaft carefully. They said it was nice and flat and it was firm, but not so hard that I would snap that um, stainless steel nut, uh, grub screw. 
it's pretty tight now, so. Because it's turning with the thread, so I've got it tight. So it doesn't unscrew itself. It's like a machine, a key or something. I've got another one of these motors with a key in the shaft. It goes right through to the end of the motor shaft. So if I just cut the um, hub on this and somehow put a key on there, but if I, I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to stay on. Even a little clamp of some sort to hold the key in. But then it won't be balanced. which has an arm key right through the end of the shaft. Then you slot a cut or slot in the hub and it's fan blades. And clamp a little key inside on that shaft. Perfectly straight too. Big W fans should be. <laughs> That's more like it. That's what I expect from one of those fans. This is the performance I want. This thing's built for a lot of living. Doesn't sound like bloody cheap market. I want quality of a lot of ability, not cheap crap. Much better. Sit it in the corner here. I'm going to stay for that, sit in the corner, I'm going to move there, sit at this whole area quite nicely. And I can play around behind here. It might be a bit loud, but I less I like the bloody boiling hot behind here. for a flange mount motor, this sort of work. The good thing with these CMG motors, it's got these brackets here where feet can bolt onto, because I use the same um, stator assembly. The frame the frame's all the same, I just change the bell housing depending on what the um, application the motor's made for. So like it gets an angle line, bolts it on the bottom here, and as I said, got a plate with a bolt or something in the middle, with something like this that can bolt into or a pipe that go inside this pipe and bolt it through. Maybe this is better. Than that. That's actually quite strong this one. So I can bolt it onto this, put a bolt inside this part, onto the foot here, and make this uh, really strong so it grabs, so it locks in. Because I want to tilt it. 
if I just put a bolt in that and put it straight in the center of that pipe, it's going to be at one angle. I won't be able to torch it. Then again, I can adjust the height anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Then it was stronger, so if I put a pipe off that bracket and sit it inside this pipe and bolt it through, I can adjust the height to the tilting it. This means it can't make it push up the top and push the hot air out. Cool. Beautiful. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. Had it running for a while, we'll check this shaft. Everything is stone cold. This mud is tuned well. Thanks for watching.